All right, with the 2013 RMZ 450 right here, the main problem with this with this bike is that the bike won't shift gears or the bike won't go into neutral. So it definitely have a transmission problem. So he'll definitely need a transmission. All right, so with the RMZ 450, the 2013, he just decided he got him a complete bottom end. We got a complete engine gasket kit, this new spark plug, and a gear shifter. So next thing I'm gonna do is start breaking, breaking down the motor so we can swap over everything off the old motor to the new motor. All right, I got mostly everything towed down. Got that subframe off, the pipe. So next thing I'm gonna do is take the motor off. I'm gonna take the motor off the frame and start with the top end. Start putting the top end off them switching everything over to that new bottom end. Then we're gonna go from there. All right, I finally got that motor off the frame. So the next thing I'm gonna do is start pulling the top end off. And then, uh, you know, the clutch cover, the state of cover, and take the state off and everything. Then we're gonna go from there. All right, so with the motor, I got the top end, the whole top end off, the piston, the cams. So next thing, the next step is taking off the, the clutch cover, the stator cover, taking the state off, and taking the clutch basket off. So we can start squinting it to the, the other bottom end. Then we're gonna go from there. All right, so I got the old bottom end completely took apart with the clutch basket and everything. And this the new, the new bottom end. So next thing I'm gonna do is start putting everything on this new bottom end, the clutch basket, everything, the piston, start putting it back together. And then we gonna go from there. All right, man, so I got the, the clutch basket and everything back on the clutch cover. As you can see, it's kicking nice and smooth. Like always, this is how it should be, nice and smooth. Everything hooked up perfectly. So the next thing is um, putting the stator back on, you know, stator cover, then putting the piston, the timing chain, everything back on. Then the cylinder, then we're gonna go from there. All right, so I got the, the cylinder on, the piston, Got the state on, state of cover, the timing chain. So next thing I'm gonna do is start putting the valve head on. Putting the valve head on to check the valve clearances. And we are gonna go from there. All right, so I got the valve head and everything back on, the cams on. So the next thing I'm gonna do is check the valve clearances on all the valves. The intake valve is perfect. Slide through nice and smooth. Yeah, these are, the exhaust valves are kind of tight. The clearances. Yeah, that's too tight. So I'm gonna have to adjust the, the exhaust valves. Then we're gonna go from there. All right, man, I adjusted the exhaust valves. Now, as you can see, all the gauge go through every, slide through every valve perfect, nice and smooth. Nice and smooth, everyone nice and smooth. Yeah, so the next thing I'm gonna do is put the, um, the cam cover back on and then start putting the motor back on the frame. And then we gonna go from there. All right, I got that new spark plug in there. 
Got the cam cover on. So the next thing is just putting it on the frame and start putting it back together and see what happens, go from there. All right, I got the motor on there, everything on. Well, not everything, still gotta put the pipe on, go put the subframe back on, gas tank in the seat. But I got the coolant and motor oil and everything in there. So I'm gonna finish putting it back together, then we're gonna see what happens. But before I put it back together, I'm just gonna show y'all how, how the transmission, how perfect the transmission is. Now, it's in neutral. So we're gonna put it in first. That's first, it's in gear. Second, that's third, fourth, fifth. Right there. We're gonna go back down. Fourth, third, second, that's first. We're gonna go back in neutral. It's back in neutral. The transmission perfect. Thank you. 